So in this video, we're just going to take a look at uh, targeting within the meta environment. So I'm going to set up a new campaign. So I'm going to click on create um, auction is fine. And we'll, we'll for example, uh, just say that we're looking for a, a traffic uh, is, is our campaign objective. Uh, and we're going to click on continue. Now, this is where they're trying to meta is trying to move you towards the automated one where you don't have control of anything. We're going to take a look at the manual traffic campaign and click on continue. And it takes a few seconds uh, to go through. Now, they put up different details in here um, and I'm not going to go through each of those. So then I'll uh, click on next. Now, there is all sorts of different details in here, which I'm not going to go through with budgeting and scheduling, etc. But I'm looking more specifically at audience controls. And there's two main areas in here that we're looking at. First of all, you've got audience control, which are like hard controls. And then there's the new sort of AI supported uh, audience areas. So looking at the difference between the two areas, um, if, for example, you put something, you hard code it into the audience control areas, then it will only uh, bring back customers who specifically match whatever it is you type in there. Um, and so the Advantage Plus says, well, I know you're looking for hiking here, but actually um, really rambling, hill walking, trekking and rock climbing. Actually, we've looked and we've seen we could probably get some good returns for you if you want to include those areas. Now, there are times where you want to be very specific and you're going hold on a minute I don't want those extra areas so for example um if we look at this one here in terms of location uh, if you only want to advertise to customers in Ireland but you don't want to include for example customers in Hong Kong or Madrid or New York or Paris then you that's where you put it into audience controls okay so the new AI versions can be very very good and will really support you uh, in terms of targeting so looking at what has been selected here in terms of audience control, you see that it automatically picked up that I was in Ireland um, and it has said that it will only advertise uh, to Ireland. So I can click on edit in here um, and I could, for example, type in Killy Beggs uh, and then Killy Beggs Donegal Ireland uh, comes up. Uh, and you can see uh, it's going within a 40 kilometer radius of that. And you could increase that and say, no, no, actually people uh, within a 70 kilometer radius might come and avail of that. And as to whether you're going to do all of Ireland or, uh, you know, be more specific, um, you know, that's up to you. Um, and you can sort of add in other locations uh, as well. Now you can add in second locations. So for example, uh, you could, for example, type in Sligo. Uh, and add it in as well and say, you know, actually, you know, a 40 kilometer or, a, you know, maybe a slightly larger radius there uh, it is in there as well. So you can add in extra areas. Maybe Sligo wasn't a great uh, option uh, when I've got 70 kilometer years. So you can see how you uh, can overlap these areas and you can say, oh, actually, that realistically, that's where we get people from. And you can add in specific areas. If you want to include additional options, you can click on uh, show more uh, down here. And for example, you could have minimum age um, and then there's particular languages, um, etc. that you can uh, include uh, as well in there. Where we're not going to go through custom audience within this video, it is interesting to note that there is an option within this section to, for example, uh, not show the ad to existing customers. So if, for example, you're giving a special discount to new customers, you don't want the people who have just purchased off you to see that there's a new discount available that they won't be able to to see. So in this one here, you can, for example, uh, stop people who have reached the checkout page of your website from seeing this particular at. We're now going to look at, at the Advantage Plus audience, um, which will really sort of guide but won't hard, uh, co you know, co code in uh, the suggestions in here. So we'll take a look uh, and click on uh, suggestions. And you're thinking, OK, we've got age here, but we also saw age here. OK, so this one is hard coded. So anybody who is under 18 will not see it. These are suggestions. So, for example, uh, if, for example, you had a seniors package and we can click on edit in here and we're saying, well, actually, uh, really, we're sort of talking about people who are, for example, 40 uh, to 65 plus. We're saying on average, you know, start tr by trying to advertise to this group. But actually, there may be children of people who are retiring who might be interested in a particular package uh, that you're 
you're offering and, and Google will will know that. And it's sort of as a general rule of thumb here, you know, if 80 percent of your customers are over 40, we'll then include it in. But if it's less than 80, if like 60 percent, then just leave it very broad. And, um, you know, genders again, specifically, you could choose that um, and some detailed uh, targeting in here. Now, to just it's a good idea to have a rummage in, in here of, of this. So, for example, in terms of demographics, you've got educational, financial life events. And we just take a look, for example, an anniversary away from hometown, date of birth, you know, friends. Of, I think it's friends of men with a birthday in in not to seven days. There's a whole pile of options uh, in here. Somebody who's got a new job, uh, newly engaged, you know, all sorts of things that are well worth sort of rummaging through just to see what uh, they are. Um, that their parents uh, are then being more specific. Uh, parents of people up to 12 months, you know, the different age groups, uh, etc. You know, whether they're in a relationship and the relationship status. Um, and then in terms of behaviours, uh, for example, uh, interests, uh, engaged, lives, event, move, reading, etc. Hobbies and activities. Uh, we have, uh, what have we got in here? Um, things like travel uh, and all sorts of other uh, things in here. Mountains, places as, as things, theme parks. Um, uh, different ones uh, in here. And if you're thinking, I can't find it. And for example, you want to type in hiking. Uh, so here you can see the different options where, where it appears and you can actually just rummage through it. And for example, hiking trails, hiking equipment, hiking boots, American Hiking Society, uh, superior hiking trail, you know, something chilly, etc. So these are all the different categories where the word hiking uh, and then maybe, for example, you could type in walking uh, in here, walking outdoors, a cakewalk, a walk to remember, uh, you know, different uh, walking options, dog walking, etc. So, you know, it, it's well worth sort of looking at different options in here and adding in a, a few different uh, options in here. And as you select these, uh, the actual um, targeting the number of people who could see your, your ad will reduce. So you don't want to reduce it down too much. Uh, but it is a good idea because uh, especially if you're a new advertiser, um, it'll take a Facebook or Meta quite a while to, to actually understand, you know, what is going to work and what's not. And if you can point Meta in the right direction, say we think people who have an interest in walking who are aged over 40 are going to be interested in this product, it'll learn faster uh, and can work uh, well for you. Um, and, you know, just to be aware, um, you know, you can, for example, save that audience and, and use it again at a later date. You can also sort of if you go to define further, you can say, you know, they're interested in walking, but also must and add in. So this is like it must have, for example, walking as an interest, but may have an interest in photography or something like that. So, again, you can get it very, very detailed in here, but you can save your work um, and then use it again for, for other advertising campaigns.